been easier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> it's alright. Hey, welcome back to another biking video, a biking adventure with Johnny Boy. I'm just here at the suburb of Capera. This is just past Brisbane, Inogra, Gaythorn. We are going to be doing the Kedron Brook Bikeway. I'm parked here just in some sports ground. You can see it's called the Groverly Sports Ground. The bikeway literally just begins just up there. So I want to show you the whole length of it. I've never done it before, first time for me. I think it's around 25 kilometers. It starts all the way from here at Capera. This is the trailhead from what I can gather on the uh, maps that I've been looking at and it goes all the way over to Nudgee I think it is and connects onto the Jim Sawley bikeway and we're gonna have a great ride I want to show you a couple of the highlights and uh, thanks very much for tuning in and watching this video I hope you enjoy it so folks here we are this is southeast queensland brisbane right here and this is the kedron brook bikeway end-to-end -end track as i rode it so let's just zoom in a little bit better here right to the trailhead all the way down here at capera now i'll just flip it around just a little bit like this so you can get a better visual now this trail is 29 kilometers in total on how i rode it the trailhead starts here on a street called hanran street and you'll see it all in the video and it just starts off this street here and then it goes all the way following the kedron brook now the kedron brook actually starts somewhere a little bit further back here at fernie grove or technically samson vale i believe but we're going to follow it from here this is where the bikeway starts and you'll see here it follows this creekway generally you see all this tree line that's a creekway peeps it goes all the way from Capera and it goes up through Everton Hills it goes past Everton Park we keep on going to Stafford the backside of Lutwich over here it goes to a place called Kalinga this is bikeway all the way there's only a little bit of area where you got to do a bit of street riding past Nunda and then it hits this beautiful section that's called the Jim Sawley Bikeway. And I showed this to you on my Morton Bay Cycleway series of videos. To break it up, we come to an intersection here and we're gonna make a left-hand turn which brings us past Nudgy Golf Course. And this is where I'll show you where it kind of comes to an end. But what we do, just to break it up for something a little bit different, let me swing it around. We actually go back onto the Jim Sawley Bikeway off Nudgee Road, and down in that direction is Nudgee Beach. And we go all the way around this golf course where you get all the golfers who don't work and they just play golf all day long. And we come right back to this point here where I finish up the Kedron Brook Bikeway, and that's 29 kilometers all the way there. I hope you really enjoy the video, guys. Yeah, I can't recommend it enough. Absolutely loved it. Let's jump on the bike now and hit the trail. Let's get ready to rock and roll. All right, we are all set to go. And the time at the moment reads 8.06. This is a Friday morning. I've just begun my one month of holidays. Yay! Now we're gonna kick it off with this awesome bike ride. Strap ourselves in and hit the road, Jack. All right, let's go. Let's get off to the trailhead. So this road is called Hanran Road, H-A-N-R-A-N. And this is it, this is the actual trailhead right here. And we can see a sign just over here, Kedron Brook Bikeway. And here's the very first sign of the bikeway. We're gonna start our track right here on Hanran Street and then continue all the way up. All right, let's go. So right up to the left hand side of me is the Kedron Brook. What's this over here? This is nice. This is very nice. 
But we're not here just to look at nice things, we're here to look at awesome things, such as the bikeway. Let's go. Now looking on the maps, this creek system starts all the way somewhere near Lanita Street, which is at Samson Vale, I think. And it stretches all the way out, basically out to the Morton Bay at Nudgy Beach. All right, after a kilometer, we come to our first road crossing, eh? And here it continues, let's go. So basically this follows this creek system the whole way. There's appears to be a lot of little offshoots and other footpaths that go across the creek here and there. But our intent is to follow the whole uh, line and we'll probably cross over at some points, but not yet. I've got to show you this. You don't see these anymore. You want a barbecue? Bring your own wood and fire. <laughs> Mate, where's the button? Where can I press it on? Bicycle route, turn left. Okay, so where to now? It says the bikeway is up here, so let's keep going. This looks like a very old neighborhood here. All right, here we go. Continues just here. The Brisbane Dog Code. Okay, didn't know there was a code for dogs. Well, obviously there's a code for dogs. Clean up after your dog craps all over the footpath is code rule number one. So just about three k's in, doing a bit of road riding, and then I'm sure we'll find our way, navigate our way back to the bikeway, wherever the heck it is. <laughs> Where to now, buddy? Oh, look. So there are a lot of signs, Kedron Brook Bikeway, so another bicycle picture on the road. Can't go wrong, mate. And there it is, all the way down the end of this road. I just saw another dog code sign back there, so it must be a problem. Dogs not abiding by the rules. Hey, just come to the first big bridge. Hey, this is, this is pretty cool. Can you see that face? <laughs> that is pretty cool, isn't it? So it crosses over Osborne Road, continues on through this uh, parkland. Quite a few walkers, uh, cyclists. Looks like a uh, pretty popular track. This is interesting. Actually, it's pretty boring. Every now and then it's worthwhile just stopping and just seeing what's just over the edge. And someone has set here a rope with a bicycle handlebar. That is like the coolest thing I have seen this morning. And I wanna climb it and jump off it. What the heck is this? Is this a holiday house? I don't know. I feel like riding all the way through it, but it feels so wrong. So just behind that place where I came out of, there's this pole here. It's very fascinating. There's horseshoes, some shearers, 
it's a drill toenail clippers there is a saw that's pretty cool just also came across this it's called patrick murphy's plow it's a reminder of the history of this site people worked this land with machinery like this Now come out to Everton Park. We've done about six and a half kilometers. Kedron Brook's off to my right over here. And you've got this really nice wide section of bikeway that begins from here. I oh know every hundred meters or so, you've got this kind of interesting different structures. Like, look at this. Just a bit of art using a piece of crap, like an old water pipe and faucet. Who the heck even uses the word faucet anymore? Oh, look at here. There's a drainway, and the bikeway goes over here. Just people riding past me all the time. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Wouldn't you love to just go tromping through and exploring that creek line? No? So you got the Everton State High School just just over there, looks like this is the back oval field where all the after school fights take place. Oh, look at this. Sheesh. Hey, this is a nice bridge. Where you been hanging out there, good looking? This is nice and high. Oh, this lady's doing the right thing, which is great to see. They're abiding by the dog code. Got the J-dubs hanging out behind me there. Hey, got me riding past like a freak. Oh, decision time, decision time. I'm gonna go under the bridge. Hey, it's starting to spit. It's gonna be another rainy bike adventure, maybe. Okay, it says the elderly train station up this way. So, uh, no one told me there'd be hills. Oh, oh. Okay, God turned on the shower now. Now, where am I going? Where am I going, peeps? Left or right? I don't know. I don't know. What's the map say? Where do I go? All right, I'm on a street called Royal Parade and I've made a royal blunder. I should have just kept going straight. Just where those people are riding there, that's where I should have kept going. Instead, I turned up the wrong way. Oh, we've got a whole bicycle team now. Here we go. So this area is called Hickey Park. Some kind of a walkway up there. That'd be cool to explore. All right, Stafford to the left, Brisbane City Toomble straight ahead. Oh, hang on a minute. Just hang on. Can it get any better than this? I don't think so. So that's called the Hickey Park Wilston Grange AFC, Australian Football Club, I gather. You know, there's something pretty cool about riding bikeways like this, say compared to riding mountain biking trails. Very different terrains. Mountain biking trails, great fun. Lots of jumps, lots of ad hoc tracks you can uh, go and explore. Uh, very rough and bumpy very easily to fall over and break a leg so yeah good fun compared to bikeways like this which is all concrete 
or bitumen. Look at the scenery we're exploring. We're going through parklands. We're going through different suburbs. You're covering a lot more mileage. If you're a mountain biker, I urge you, jump on your mountain bike like this and just go and explore some bikeways around Brisbane, around your neighborhood. You'd be surprised what you've actually got in uh, your neck of the woods. So we're coming out to Stafford now, wherever the heck Stafford is. So check it out, it says Hickey Park. It was named in 1957 in honor of Mr. W.A. Hickey and his six sons and one daughter who established and operated a stud dairy at Grange in 1912. Prior to 1912, Mr. Hickey was a tramway motor man and was one of the founders of the tramways union. I don't like unions. So I've come to this sign here, it says Brisbane City Toomble, Stafford. So a little bit confusing, where's the bikeway? at this point. Stafford Dental Clinic? No thank you. So you know that shopping trolley that I was going goo goo gaga over? I think that's the bridge I was meant to go over. I mean, I didn't see any clear big signs. So I just took a punt and kept going down this bikeway. And now I'm backtracking, mate. But it looks like that's where I should have gone. So here's my most favorite shopping trolley in Kedron. On the bikeway, that is. Uh, this is where we should have gone. Here we go. So when in doubt, just follow the course of the creek line here. That's what I should have done. Hey, I can see a really big bridge coming up ahead. Wilston, Hurston, Brisbane. Oh, this is more like it. This is really, really nice. So we're about 800 meters from Kedron now. I am loving this bikeway, it's fantastic. So we're coming up to some main road here. I don't know what it's called yet. Stafford Road. So it's like there's two main roads here, Stafford Road and Gympie Road. Something about riding underneath bridges, isn't it? There's a set of stairs back there, I should have come down there. So what do you reckon so far? You're enjoying the Kedron Brook bike way? <laughs> if you are, if you're still with me in the video, if you haven't, give it a thumbs up. Just like that. Just to show that you enjoy this kind of content. If not, that's fine too. Thanks for watching anyway. I'm just gonna plug a couple of things on YouTube now. If you're not a subscriber on this Job Builder channel, that's only a click away. But I run a couple of other channels too. I've been a little bit quiet lately, been extremely busy. The other uh, channels that I run is one called Off Track Explorer with an X. That's about all my hiking adventures. That's more off terrain, a little bit more on the questionable side. The other channel that I run is, it's called Gel Reviews. That's a channel where I review a whole bunch of stuff and show a bit of DIY stuff as well, just from my construction background. So feel free to check out those channels. I do run one more channel. I haven't really plugged this before, but hey, what the heck, this is the first time I'll plug it. It's called How to Tie Knots. How to, the number two, tie knots. If you're into wanting to know how to use your rope, and tie all forms of different knots. Head over there and check it out. I might leave a link in the description, what the heck. I only started that channel about four or five months ago. People really seem to enjoy watching me play with a little bit of rope. And I'll show some practical examples of really how to tie good, useful knots. So, hey, if you're into rope and tying people up, I'm tying things up, I mean, um, head over to how to tie knots and check it out. That's uh, four channels. I don't know why. I'm a sucker for punishment. But thanks very much everyone for your support and watching these videos. Plug time over, let's head on back to the bikeway. All right, I got no idea where I am. Where's the bikeway around here? Do I cross the road? Do I go left or go right? Where's the signage, mate? There's a big sign here that says Kedron Brook. Man, this road is busy. All right, here comes my chance.
Kedron Brook. I do know that I need to follow that, so where's the bikeway for it, buddy? So I've done so far 16 and a half kilometers. The time is 9.29, I've been fluffing around. Uh, looks like the bikeway is down here. So go past this Valley Hockey Club. Are you there? The Valley Hockey Club. And the bikeway commences again just here. So a little bit further down, Toonbull Eagle Farm. Nudgy mate. Yeah, I think I want to get down to Nudgy. I loved that bikeway. That was the Jim Sawley bikeway. If you haven't watched my Morton Bay cycleway series, hang over there now or else. <laughs> Check it out. You'll be blown away. I did 200 kilometers starting at Talburpin Point at Redland Bay and going all the way up to Bribey Island. 200 kilometers of MBC goodness. I appreciate it. If you're into biking, you want to check out a pretty amazing cycleway, that's one to keep in your back pocket there, buddy. Oh, look at this. Yeah. What a nice parkland. What a lovely looking ibis. I've got to do something. Oh yeah. This is more like it. Oh. Hey there, good looking. What a cool little swimming hole. Check it out. And I could be wrong, and I usually am, <laughs> but I kind of remember. I don't know why. This looks familiar to me. Right there. I've seen pictures of this before where possibly they used to do some mining here, and it's possible that it's along this wall. I just remember seeing this exact location now that i think about it i don't know if there's any truth to it i'll put something in the video but i pretty much think that this is where they used to have some kind of mine shafts yeah. the nunda and districts historical society site of north brisbane's only black coal mine supplied the railways and the virginia brickworks operated continuously from 1895 to 1905. This can was erected by students of the Gateway TAFE College, 1989. I knew I was near some sort of a mine. So somewhere around here, who knows, there might be mine shafts in this area. Maybe. Jeez. Man, this is quite the park. This is at Kalinga. That's quite a fortress, isn't it? Jeez. How cool is this? Tell you what, if that lady wasn't over there, I know I'd be uh, hitting that fort and having fun in the playground. Kalinga Memorial Park, World War I Avenues of Honor. This is called Diggers Drive. All oh, right, jeez. Diggers Drive. I dig it. Now let's do it. So we are coming up to a train line right now, just over here. Oh, the chances of that, yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's a um, freight train that goes down to the New South Wales, the XPT, I think it's probably called. You can go that way, you can go this way, you can go that way. And I want to go, I don't know which way. So, pretty cool. Loving this, loving this so far. Oh, there's a plane. whoop de doo All right, so where I actually wanted to go is over this, this bridge right here. And it continues off to my right. So, there's a sign here, the Morton Bay Cycleway coming up over here so that'll be interesting because I just did the whole cycle way brother look at this eh and 
over here we've got this whole train line bridge and we've got coals click and collect so this is called Toomble there we go that's the green man means I can ride oh finally I've been waiting so long Whew. the tree is now open yeah so I've got the brook just beside me here I really do enjoy riding beside you know creek systems rivers there's bikeways it really really is pleasant so I have to admit I'm really enjoying this ride really really a lot really really much really so this is the beginning of the Jim Sawley bikeway it's also called the Kedron Brook wetlands bikeway at least that's what the sign said all right this is Nudgy Road super duper busy we're going to start this uh, section of the Jim Sawley Bikeway, JSB. If you're like, oh, Johnny, you just did this in your NBC series. Yeah, but I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go up in a uh, counterclockwise direction and we'll be going past that big golf park or golf driving range that you always see when you're driving up the uh, motorway. So I'll show you a little bit of a different route. Once again, this is simply a beautiful bikeway. I loved doing this last time. Mate, and even these ibises love it too. And I love ibises. You know, there was a guy that um, in Brisbane, apparently he, <laughs> I think he's a bit of a hobo or hot homeless guy, but he was catching ibises and cooking them up and eating them like chicken. Someone must've seen him one day. <laughs> I think the council approached him, like council law enforcement officers. They go, do you catch ibises? He goes, yeah. I think it was Russian actually. He goes, yeah. And they go, what do you do with it then? I eat it for dinner like chicken. And then they go, there's a fine for your buggy. They're a protected species, a protected bird within Australia. So don't catch the ibises for dinner okay that's bad no good so in case you're wondering mileage wise from when I first started up at Capera up at the trailhead to the start of this Jim Sawley bikeway it was 20 kilometers so that's 20 big ones yeah it's pretty easy going it's great fun and when you get to here because we're so close to the Brisbane Airport which is just over there you'll see all the planes taking off they generally take off in this direction and I'm pretty sure they um, land in the same direction, I'd, I think, too. And again, I don't know. I'm no pilot or anything. I'm just a mountain biker that rides on bitumen. <laughs> Mate, this person's got the right idea. Bit of stealth camping in the open air with this tricycle. So once again, just a reminder, you get these signs every kilometre in. They're a safety marker that lets you know how far in you've come and they remind you of the emergency phone number in generally Australia, triple <laughs> zero, not 911. Forget those American shows and then you're in Australia in emergency, oh 911, it's triple zero buggy. All right, so this is uh, where we're gonna change things up a little bit. Last time in my NBC series, I went down that way to Nudgee Beach. Today, we're going to take the JSB and hang a left. This takes us to Nudgee. And what we're gonna do is, this goes along the Gateway Arterial Road in front of that big golfing range we spoke about before. And uh, we will cycle uh, anti-clockwise and come back uh, via Nudgee Beach um, entry point. So anyway, that's uh, that's the plan. Let's get going. Man, I wish I had an electric scooter. 
from here you can see the Brisbane Airport, you can see that control tower. Hey, Scooter Man's just up here, stopped for some reason. What's the matter, babe? You ran out of battery. And there we go. Coming to Golf City over here. Nudgee Golf Course or whatever you call it. So just over here we've got the Nudgee Beach Golf Course just beyond the uh, brook and then right over here we've got the Gateway Motorway. So they hit their balls, it lands on the windscreen of the motorist and uh, everyone's happy except for the motorist. If you're familiar with Brisbane you ride over the Gateway Motorway quite a bit over here you'll see these big nets. So this is uh, for the golf driving range just over here. I mean, they are tall. Looks like that's the golfing headquarters up there. But straight up ahead is the overpass. And that's Nudgy Road just up there. I'll show you what it looks like. This is a great circuit. It's different to simply turning uh, right at the Jim Sawley bikeway. We turned left and it's all bikeway goodness. When you get on past that uh, bridge, you just keep on following this cycleway. There's a bit of a hydration station just up here. They call it the Nudgy Interchange. And what's good here, they've got a tap. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, hey, there's more pressure there than at home. So this is pretty much the end of the bikeway here. But I'll just uh, carry it on to the JSB again. And I'll just show you what that looks like. Just a little bit more and then we'll call it quits on this video. If you're interested in going to Nudgee Beach, it's pretty much just down this road, three kilometers, not that far at all. And that's where it comes out. That's where I came out on the MBC track. And that's where we're gonna be going back in. So yeah, if you've never been to Nudgee Beach, down that way, buddy. Definitely worthwhile doing. We're gonna head up this way. And I'll just come back to where it uh, connects up, where I deviated off this path. The golfing place is making so much money, they're digging more courses here. So you got this nice big deck that goes over these wetlands. back to the golfers. Mate, don't these guys ever work? They're playing golf all day. Then again, I'm not at work either. <laughs> all right, and here we go, peeps. This is pretty much the end. All right. So 29 kilometers took me one and a half hours. So yeah, 29 Ks probably literally could take one hour. You know, if you did that, I fluff around like crazy, <laughs> you know, taking film here and, and all that. So I hope you enjoyed this, this ride. What did we do? We started that Capera. That's the trailhead for the bikeway here. And then we pretty much just followed the creek line all the way up to here where the Jim Sawley bikeway started. Dig a loop around and came to the end here. So what I'm going to do, just before this video is over, I'll find a nice little park ground and I have my little cup of coffee, my little muesli bar. I've actually got two different types of coffees today, so I want to show that to you, but I want to find a uh, El Primo picnic park bench or something. Somewhere along the Kedron Brook bicycle way, I guess, uh, we'll find some really, really nice scenic spot and have our brew there. Whew! Jeez, I made it back to my car <laughs> in next to no time. I didn't even get a chance to stop my, for my cup of coffee. All right, so anyway, I'm just gonna have my cup of coffee on my way home. That was a total of 50 kilometers. That's five zero, all up. What can I say? The Kedron Brook bikeway, yeah, do it. Really, really cool to ride, very 
scenic. I enjoyed it a lot and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to enjoy my coffee now. Anyways, we're going to sign off. Catch you on the next video, eh?